Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Ashley and on this channel we talk all things budgeting and cash stuffing, including sinking funds and savings challenges. So today we're going to go over my expenses for the week. I do use my credit card to pay for everything throughout the week and then we go ahead and use our cash envelopes to pay that back. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you stick around for the rest of this video. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All right, y'all, let's get into it. All right, so we are going to start in the variable expense binder today. And we are going to be starting off woo, with my personal spending. And um, my Christmas money was burning a hole in my pocket, so I spent a lot this week. First up, I treated um, me and my husband to Starbucks. That was $13.82. Um, I went to Target, spent $28.61. Um, what else did I spend this week? Oh, I went to Ulta. I got a new hair straightener. Y'all, mine was probably a good eight years old, and it was starting to just not work well and had this weird smell every time I plugged it in, and I figured that wasn't safe, so... I bought a new one, um, plus I figured it'd be good to have for our vacation coming up. And then um, I bought this new iPad case on Amazon. Um, it's got a nice little spot over here for my Apple Pencil, um, and this will work well for traveling and stuff because I'm always scared that this Apple Pencil is just going to fall off and I'm going to lose it. So I like that it has its own little spot over here now. Um, but anyways, I spent a grand total of $173.62 today. So let's go ahead and take that money out. We're going to take out 174. So 100, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75. And I don't have any ones in here right now. So... Let's just go ahead. I'm going to make change real quick. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so over here is 170. One, two, three, four. So now left over in my personal envelope is 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86 dollars. All right, nothing's coming out of my husband's envelope. So next up is groceries. So let's see, for groceries, we picked up a couple things at Target for $12.26. Um, we did stop at BJ's this week, that was $25.53. Um, we picked up, a, picked up a couple things at Harris Teeter for $18.93. And then our big trip was Trader Joe's, we spent $166.01. And um, also coming out of groceries is going to be my hair care. That was from Ulta. That was $43.12. Um, our hair care um, stuff that is necessary for self-care, like toothpaste, body wash, hair care, that all comes out of our grocery budget. All right. So that is it for groceries. And for this week, that was a grand total of $265.85. Um, 
So we are going to take out $266 from groceries. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40, 60, 65, 66. All right, so left over in groceries now is 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60 dollars. Um, and we probably will not be doing any more big grocery trips um, until after our vacation. We stocked up on a lot of stuff, so it'll just be getting um, some necessities, um, some um, fresh stuff from now until our trip. So I'm pretty happy with where all that is ending at. Next, we're doing health. Um, we only got one thing from health this week. Um, my husband has had a little bit of a cold. Um, so we stopped at CVS and he got some tissues and that was $1.69. So let's take $2 from health. And we now have 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79 dollars left over in health. All right, next up is gas. Y'all, my husband has been having a blast driving his new car. We have barely driven. I've literally only driven my car to work. And my car used to be our, like, all the time, wherever we went, driving. Um, but he's been having a lot of fun driving his car. So he actually filled up twice this week. Once on Monday, once on Sunday. Um, so first time it was $31.60 to fill up his car. And the second time it was $35.64. And like I said, I have not filled up my car. So grand total for gas this week was $67.24. Um, also another thing to note, he was not, he had this entire week off. So he was driving a little bit more than normal. So this will probably be not be an every week occurrence of him having to fill up twice. Um, but anyways, we're going to take $67 out of gas. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 5, 6, 7. So leftover in gas is 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59 dollars is still left in gas. All right, next we're gonna look at pet care. Um, we did pick up some food for the pups this week. Um, that was $41.33. And then also we got them some more treats. That was $6.88. So grand total this week for pet care was $48.21. So let's go ahead and pull out $48 from Pet Care. We've got 20, 40, 5, 6, 7, 8. So now left over in Pet Care is 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. All right, next up is dining, 
And y'all, we did pretty well sticking to our dining budget this week. So on Monday, um, we went out to lunch. We went to a Mexican restaurant that we really like. That was $30.62, pardon me. And then um, on another day, we got um, a boba drink. That was $15.36. And that comes out to a grand total of $45.98. So let's go ahead and take $46 out of dining. We've got 20, 45, 46. And now we are left with one, two, three, four dollars left over in dining. All right, and we did not spend anything out of fun or miscellaneous this week. So we're going to move over into the subscription binder. And my husband's gym membership did come out. That was $19. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So left over in gym is going to be $25, 26 27 $28. Oh, and I did not mark that up over here. So let's look at subscriptions. Where did... There it is, right down there. Okay, next up is going to be my iCloud subscription, and that was $2.99. So let's go ahead and take the $3 out of here. One, two, three. And we are left with one, two, three, four, five, six dollars in iCloud. All right, so next up, let's move over to the Disney binder. All right, so I've talked about this a little bit, um, but not too much. I do buy gift cards um, from BJ's, which is a wholesale club. You get them at a discounted rate. Um, usually I try and buy them online because they do have a slightly better deal online, at least for BJ's. Um, but right now we are getting close to the trip and I didn't want to wait, um, on shipping. So I bought $500 worth of gift cards. Um, and that actually cost me $484.95. I'm just going to take this out of dining So we've got 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 470, 4, let's see, 480, 1, 2, 3, 4, oh man, okay. Okay, so so far 470. We'll do $4.90 and take a five back. Let's hope I did that right and I didn't mess anything up. Um, actually, let's just double check that real quick. So, in dining, whoops, would have been $18.44. Um, I do have $500 placeholder and then $100 in gift cards. And then if I took out that 485, whoops. 
I should have 759 right here right now. So let's double check that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. Okay, I did that correctly. Now, actually what we have, and I need to update this. So I'm gonna put that, those five, I have 500 off to the side the new purchased gift cards, plus I have $100 worth of gift cards in here. So that is 600 in gift cards. I have $500 in the bank that is represented by that placeholder. And then I've got 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. Twenty, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine. Okay, just double checking all of my math. So now, left over in the dining envelope is going to be one thousand eight hundred and fifty-nine dollars. Um, so technically, even though I unstuffed this for the gift cards, we actually are now higher up in dining because those gift cards are worth more than I spent on them. So that is good. I'll take all those gift cards and put them in this envelope after I'm done filming just to make it a little bit easier. Um, but that is one way you can save some money on your Disney trip is by buying discounted gift cards. I know a lot of people do the um, Target red card and get 5% that way. Um, I don't really want a Target red card. I don't trust myself to have a Target red card. Um, so I do the whole BJ's and then I earn my credit card points on top of that. Anyways, that is that. Um, we've got one more thing down over here. Um, we got our bill finally for the Easy Pass from our trip um, in October. That was $35.40. Um, I'm just going to take that out of the buffer money in our bill account. So I'm gonna take $36 out. And remember, this is currently prop money. It just represents what we already have in the bank. So there is $36 in prop money I'm gonna take out, which means we should be left with $64 in prop money. So 20, 40, 60, one, two, three, four. And that is just gonna go back in this envelope. And I'm just gonna make that note over here. I'm just dropping this pen everywhere today. Okay, so that is it for the unstuffing portion and I forgot to add everything up. So let's go ahead and do that now and add up everything that we spent for the week. All right, so this week our grand total is $1,000. $144.93, which means we should have about that over here in cash. So let's go ahead and add all of that up. We've got one, two, three, four, five hundred, fifty, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, two, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, three, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, four, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty. So four eighty. We've got ten, twenty, thirty, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then, oh, I forgot the prop money over here. So that is $36. And that brings our grand total to $1,146. That is going to go back to pay off that credit card. 
And that is going to be it for today, guys. Um, we are going to have a lot of videos this week, seeing it is the beginning of a new month. Um, tomorrow should be our bill condensing video. I will also be kind of unstuffing the Disney binder. Um, I am not going to be carrying my binder with me during my vacation. Um, and I am just going to put everything together in one envelope for when I get back. Obviously, besides the gift cards, those are going to be the only things traveling with me. Um, but I am going to be keeping a um, expense tracker that is going to be for our trip. So I will be keeping track every day um, based on what category that was originally in that Disney binder during our trip. Um, but during my cash stuffing, I'm just going to put everything together um, so that it can go back to the bank. And then after our trip, figure out... Um, what we have left over and we will probably be cash stuffing what's left over back either into our sinking funds or going towards our debt progress this for this year so that will be coming out tomorrow and then i will be doing a january budget with me and then of course our normal cash stuffings this week so We've got a lot going on before I get ready for my trip, so make sure you are tuning in this week. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!